Yeah. Where the heck is Harry at? We need for the news. I don't know. Maybe outside. Then, well, let's go find him. Harry, wake up. You need the news. Oh, shoot. I thought I already edited it. You did? Yeah. How did you get here then? Grab my piss pass. And I left Mr. Ismay's class so I could take a nice nap. My, my bad, Harry. I'm go back to bed. question what what was the best part of your week huh oh mine well the best part of my week is going to LA yeah I think that's the best part of my week what about you well mine was that my friend visited from San Francisco what do you think other people's best part of their week was I don't know but if I want to ask I need to get out of this forest okay Ashna, oh, I think I'm lost. <sighs> Again? some people and ask them what the best part of their week is. Hey guys, what was the best part of your week? The best part of my week was hanging out with my friends. Being on the news. Well, the best part of my week was that my grandma came from Mexico. The best part of my week was uh, going to school. Uh, the best part of my week is I went to Knott's Berry Farm. Um, the best part of my week was that I went to Knott's Berry Farm. The best part of my week Spending time with all my family on Thanksgiving, considering we were not able to spend fit time with them last year. Uh, my um, best part of my week was uh, spending time with my family and friends during a picnic during Thanksgiving break. Awesome. That's it for the best of the week, Meadowbrook. Hey, Hebe, you want to go on a hike? Uh, no, I'll, I think I'll pass. Hey guys, it's Gavin with the exercise of the week. Today we'll be doing sprints. To sprint, coordinate your arms opposite of your legs to gain an even balance. Running on the balls of your feet can be more effective than running flat footed. Sprints can be effective towards your lower and upper leg strength. Maintaining a healthy diet can crucially affect your sprints. Here's one thing you should not do. Leaning forward while sprinting will make you fall. And definitely do not do this either. This was Gavin with the exercises of the week. Sprints. Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. See you around, Mustang. Hey, Meadowbrook, it's Channing. Where's our producer? Nina! Again, Channing? Sorry! With the Mustang, Mustang Pride. Pride! For the Pride Pride today, we brought a very special guest. The one and only Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins! Look, she's coming now! 
The first winner is... The first winner is... Kaden S. The second winner is... Second winner is Thomas Pham. And the final winner is my wallet. I've been looking for that. Final winner is Charlotte Brada. Here are the three winners. But I've got a split. For the three winners, please go to the office to receive your In-N-Out Burger Certificate for your prize. And for the remaining people, we'll be in the pizza bucket so that they can be chosen for the trimester 2 Pizza with Friends. And that was the Pride Cards. Bye Meadowbrook! Just a spoonful of sugar, take some medicine, go down in the most delightful way. Get it started! Yeah. Oh, you aren't following the ASB Instagram? What Instagram? Wait, you aren't following MEMS underscore ASB. Oh yeah, they remind you for all of the spirit days. Yeah, plus tag us in your posts and then we can feature you in our highlights. That's so cool and so helpful. I'll follow once I get home. Great idea. And now we have from Middlebrook Middle School, Isabella Shellhouse. Good evening, thank you so much for having me. My name is Bella Shellhouse and I'm an eighth grader at Meadowbrook Middle School. I'm also the student body president. I'm so happy to talk about the fun, positive things happening on our campus. One thing we did was start with Hello Week. This was to encourage students to make new friends and be kind. The school had lots of fun signs, banners, and balloons. Throughout the days of Start With Hello Week, kind notes were put on our desks, we were cheered for as we came in, and so many more fun things that made me feel confident and want to be kind to others. A few weeks later, we participated in Red Ribbon Week. The purpose was to create a fun, positive environment while, with spirit days while also raising, raising awareness against drugs. Other October activities were Pink Out Day, supporting breast cancer awareness, and Halloween Dress Up Day. Both of these events had contests for most spirit. November, November has been off to a fun start. We hosted our first ever movie night, and the students were so excited we sold out in the first three days. We even had to make more tickets. Students and their families all enjoyed their time at one of our first school events this year. Lastly, we are currently holding a canned food drive to help families in need. I've had a blast being back on campus and seeing everyone enjoy spirit days and after school activities along with community service. It feels so nice to be back, mostly normal, and have so much support from everyone at our school. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, Isabella. Just a friendly reminder that the canned food drive is ending this Thursday. Just remember that you cannot donate any clothes to the food drive. You can also donate non-perishables. And toiletries. Don't forget to donate, Mustangs! Just a friendly reminder that you can put your cans in this box located in your classroom. Bye, Bye Mustangs! Good morning, Meadowbrook. This is Isis with a few words of wisdom. The only real handicap is fear. Be unafraid, go right up, and look your fear in the face, and then do something. These are the words of Margaret Burke White, prize-winning photographer and journalist who was named one of the top ten American women in 1936. She photographed and was influenced by real-life heroes Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt. Remember Franklin Roosevelt's famous words. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Experiencing fear can be a warning signal that we are in danger and that we certainly don't want to ignore it. 
but there are times when we are afraid and it is because we are feeling challenged or insecure. So don't be handicapped by the fear that you are not good enough or smart enough. Remember Margaret Burke White and look those kinds of fear in the face. Then go ahead, you can do it. With something to think about, this is ISIS. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. started out as an idea, a group of friends running a babysitting service to help the parents in town find a babysitter. But it became so much more. The Babysitter's Club became something special. It brought us together. It helped us grow. The Babysitter's Club is about supporting each other through the good times and the not so good times. We're friends, we're family, and we're growing. So join the club. Look for the Babysitter's Club at your Scholastic Book Fair. Hey Mustangs! I'm from Girl Scout Troop 2007 and we'll be hosting a school supplies drive for all our teachers and staff. The supplies drive will take place the week of December 6th to December 10th. We're asking for the following items based on the MBMS teachers wish list. Pencils and erasers. Sharpies and glue sticks. Expo markers and electric pencil sharpeners or wall mounted sharpeners. Plain and ruled paper. Disposable masks, hand sanitizer and tissues. In case you didn't get that, check out the supplies list posted on peace jar flyers and on posters around the school. You can bring your donations to school and place them at the designated boxes at the gate and in the office from December 6th to December 10th. We will also be collecting donations during 4th and 5th period in the quad. If you don't want to carry your heavy supplies to school, well guess what? We're going to be having a drop-off night, Wednesday, December 8th. Parents can drop off supplies at the curbside from 5.30 to 7 p.m. We hope you all will be able to help make this drive a success and spread holiday cheer to our teachers here at Meadowbrook by giving them school supplies to last the whole year. This is a reminder that the Mindful Moment will be following the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you for watching the Meadowbrook News. Please stand, face the flag, put your right hand over your heart, Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.